there have been several free body plot enhancements in abacus 611 including multiple free body cuts and the extraction of free body force and moment history data there are two ways to display multiple free body cuts using the view cut functionality the first method begins with the creation of multiple view cuts followed by the activation of the multiple view cut option then simply show multiple view cuts with the free body force display activated for each the second method allows you to view multiple free body cuts for a single view cut here is a view cut for this beam with a single free body force displayed note that i can use the free body plot options to customize this plot for example, to deactivate the force label. Next, I will activate the display of the beam above the view cut. Then I will use the free body tab in the view cut options to increase the number of free bodies displayed. So we can quickly see the shear force distribution in this beam, which was subjected to three different loads along its length. Finally, you can also extract free body force and moment history data from a free body cut. This functionality is only available for free body cuts created using a method other than the view cut option. Once you have created such a view cut, you can create history output using the free body cut. Here is a table that highlights some of the other differences between free body plots created using the view cut method versus the element-based methods. Pause this video if you would like more time to review these details before continuing on to the subsequent free body demonstration, which is an excerpt from the Abacus 611 Overview Webinar Demonstration presented by Asif Khan. So I'm going to switch to the visualization module, and I have loaded uh, a model aircraft engine. And if I run the animation, uh, you can see the simulation I have um, uh, a bunch of loads and pretension defined. So I can go to the contour plot mode and just display the uh, crankshaft part of the model. So let's select that and uh, replace it in the viewport. Now for complex simulations, you want to look at the force and distribution at uh, various sections. So uh, free body force and moment output capability exists and uh, in earlier releases of Abacus and we have made some enhancements in 6.11. So for example, I can activate a view cut, view cut and activate the uh, free body section force and moment output. Uh, in 6.11, uh, we have now enabled output at multiple locations. So for example, I can copy this uh, view cut, enable it, and then translate it to look at the force and moment output uh, at a different location. And you can create any number of uh, uh, view cuts and activate section force and moment output. We also have a method to create a, a force and moment output using nodes and elements. So I'm going to orient this part and uh, remove a bunch of elements from the viewport. So let's remove the elements on the right hand side and let's create a free body based on elements and nodes. So I'm going to create the elements, uh, select the elements from the viewport, and also uh, select uh, some nodes. And I can define the, uh, the free body uh, force and moment. So uh, if you have a complex multi-step analysis, uh, you might want to get the maximum uh, and minimum from a particular frame that may not be obvious. So in 6.11, we now have the option to create an XY plot using the free body that I just defined based on nodes and elements. And I can go ahead and uh, create that based on force or moment, and I also have controls over the analysis frames or steps from the simulation. So once I hit plot, uh, CA goes ahead and creates uh, an XY plot uh, for the force distribution. And uh, this is really a very handy tool for looking at the minimum and maximum values. 